I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to analyze first and second derivatives to sketch graph of the function. The question before us is to sketch graph of a function with following characteristics. The characteristics given to us are that f of 0 is equal to 2 that means value of the function at 0 is 2 second derivative of the function is less than 0 if x is not equal to 0 limit of the function rather limit when x approaches 0 from the right side for the derivative of the function is positive infinity and limit when x approaches 0 from the left side for the derivative of the function is negative infinity you can always pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions. What I normally do is, you know, we are always given a graph paper. Let's say this is our graph paper. We are going to sketch rough graph here. But what I do is, I try to analyze the given information uh, somewhere here. We call this as our rough work column. So like, it's kind of a rough work column for us, which is row in this case. So we'll try to analyze what is given in this part and then sketch on the graph. We are given at zero, the value of the function is two. And let us say this is two for us, right? So at zero, we are given a point, which is the value of the function at two, right? So that becomes the, the value the first condition. Is it okay? This is x axis and that is the function f of x. Then we are given that the second derivative is less than zero for x not equal to zero. That means everywhere else from minus infinity to plus infinity, second derivative is negative, right? If second derivative is negative, then what kind of graph do you expect? It has to be concave down, you understand? It has to be concave down and that is the meaning of the second derivative being less than zero, right? So that is what it means. It means that the second derivative of the function is less than zero, right? That is what it means. So the graph of the function is concave down everywhere except this point, okay? Now, that gives you a good idea about how the function may look like, correct? Then we are given some additional information which says that the derivative of the function when you approach zero from the right side from the positive side is positive infinity it's kind of kind of a line which should be like uh, if i draw a tangent right this is our zero so if i draw a tangent it's kind of vertical but like increasing do you see that kind of like this but increasing towards positive infinity that's what it means and when you approach zero from the left side, that is from this side, then it is going downwards. Do you see that? Now, this coincides with the structure which you have drawn, right? So that gives you an idea that the graph of the function should look like what, right? So you can always now sketch the graph. So we have a cusp here at two, right? So we, we can make a cusp here at two and then sketch the graph. And that becomes the graph of the function do you see that so at zero the value is two second derivative is less than zero that means concave down right so this means concave down and you can also see that the tangent is negative negatively large as you approach zero from left side here it is positive positively large when you approach zero from the right side so this graph satisfies all the conditions, right? Uh, if you know, the function could be uh, x to the power of 2 over 3. Now, since at 0, we have a value of 2. So plus 2 will give us a graph of the function, which will kind of match what I have drawn. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.